Arsenal Fan TV, time to get into the player ratings. Uh, we couldn't do it outside the ground because it's a bit hectic outside there. And uh, the police uh, sort of moved us on. Fair enough. Uh, Spurs fans not too happy because they, at 2-1 up, thought to themselves, yeah, we've done it. We've won the league. We're the greatest team in the world. And what did they do? They messed it up as usual. And Arsenal came back into it. Now, time to get into the player ratings. Going to start off with David Ospina. Brilliant in goal. Well done to Ospina. I was a bit worried going into this. I thought to myself, boy, Petr Cech's not here. Ospina hasn't played for ages. I forgot that he's a great goalkeeper. You know, he's not as good as Petr Cech. He's not on that level. But as a, a fan reminded me, he's a Colombian international. He's played in the World Cup. He played for Arsenal many games last season and did very well for us. And he made some outstanding saves today. And I've got to say, for me, he was our man of the match. Um, I'm going to give David Ospina today a 9 out of 10. He was absolutely brilliant for Arsenal and kept us in that game. Um, Hector Bellerin uh, played very well as well. He was a bit shaky. He got an early yellow card, but he kept his composure. A um, couple of assists, and I thought really grew into the game. Uh, seven for Hector Bellerin. Perma Asaka. Uh, I heard Mo saying earlier that how brilliantly he played. I'm not too sure about that. Um, I thought that he he played okay, but the mistake that he made on Kane's goal, I mean, come on. He should have either just got rid of the ball or run it out, use your strength. You can't lose the ball in that sort of position. You put your team under a lot of pressure. And for that, he gets marked down for me because he's done all the other bits in the game well. But for that particular bit, I've got to mark him down and give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, Gabriel, again, I didn't think he was too bad. He's pretty combative. Uh, six out of ten for him. Uh, Kieran Gibbs, who came in for Nacho Monreal, I thought he played really, really well today. Showed a lot of energy, a lot of composure, some good dribbles sometimes as well. And um, I thought it was an outstanding performance by Kieran Gibbs. Again, a guy hasn't played regularly. Um, seven out of ten for him. This selection was perfect. Moving into the midfield, Francis Coquelin. Up until he got sent off again, he was possibly the man of the match again for Arsenal. However, because he got sent off, I will give him a four out of ten because he could have cost us that game today. You've got to keep your head. Why did he even make that tackle? Look at the position where he made that tackle. I mean, we were winning one nil at the time. It enabled Spurs, gave their fans a lift, gave their players a lift got them back in the game and ultimately could have cost us the game. Good performance, but ruined by that moment of madness. Four out of ten for me for Francis Coquelin. Um, Mohamed El Nene, brilliant performance, I thought, today. Looks so composed. You know, it's a North London derby and the way he played, uh, he, he was, you know, he won tackles, his passing was good, his interceptions was good. Everything about him today was very impressive, very impressive performance and then when Coquelin went off I thought he filled in in that position really really well really good performance really encouraged by that um I'm gonna give um Mohamed El an 8 out of 10 uh in front of him uh Mesut Ozil a little bit quiet today by his standards um not a bad game but not a great game I'm um, 6 out of 10 for Mesut Ozil out on the right-hand side, Aaron Ramsey, that goal he scored was absolutely massive. Maybe at first when the game started, he was a bit, little bit uh, shaky, but again, grew into the game and a massive goal. That's what he does. If we can get him back scoring, we've got a chance to do something for the end of the season. Uh, Going to give um, Aaron Ramsey a 7 out of 10. Uh, Danny Welbeck, fantastic performance by him. Energy, run himself into the ground. He never gave their back for a minute's piece. Some of the skills he done, I was really impressed with Welbeck today. Eight out of ten. He, he, he definitely is, you know, starting to become a really important player for Arsenal. Um, going to Alexis Sanchez, massive equaliser. Again, he showed passion. He showed energy. He criticised all the players before the game and himself, quite rightly so. And he showed. You know, that right level of commitment and a fantastic goal to get us back in that game. And we could have won that game in the end. Um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 as well. Well done, Alexis. It's great to see him back. Uh, moving on to the substitutes. Olivia Giroud came on. Didn't really have much time to, to impact the game and didn't really impact the game. 5 out of 10 for him. 
Same with Joel Campbell, just to give him a straight five because he had no time to really do anything in the game. And also the same for Matthew Flaminia. Yet again, you know, just sort of came on momentarily, didn't really get a chance to impact the game. So five out of ten for him. Uh, we rate the managers on this show. In the, This is where we're very different from a lot of um, other player rating shows. And the other night, I gave him a two out of ten for taking off Joel Campbell, which I, I thought to myself, what was Arsene Wenger thinking of? When I saw the team sheet today, I was thinking, again, what is Arsene Wenger thinking of? But you know what? Everything he did today came off. The Mohamed El Nene Coquelin thing was working brilliantly until Coquelin got himself sent off, and you can't blame Wenger for that. Gibbs came in, had lots of energy, played brilliantly. Ospe All right, well, the Ospina thing was forced upon him, and putting Ramsey out on the right worked a lot better as well. So, manager today, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. He got most things right, so, so well done to the manager. And the fans today, absolutely incredible. It is always incredible every time there's a North London derby. Both sets of fans were really up for it. And uh, I thought the Arsenal fans, you know, there was no... I didn't really sense... Um, well, we did go 1-0 up, to be fair. So, But I didn't sense the negativity that I thought might be around. Even when we went 2-1 down, fans were disappointed, but nobody was like saying, you know, you, you know, Wenger's out and stuff like that. Fans were still behind the team. And for that, I'm going to give the fans an 8 out of 10. So, it's a draw at White Hart Lane. Listen, we would have loved to win. So, just finally, just to say, you know, um, it was a great performance. It wasn't the victory that we would all to have loved to have seen. But with 10 men, I thought it was a fantastic fight back by Arsenal. And it gives us a lot of heart going into the rest of the season. Well done to the team for today. Both teams looked very nervous. I thought we, got, we started to get on top. I thought in the second half, until the sending off, I thought we was well in control of the game. And then the sending off, and then, but we battled back, and the mm. way we battled back with 10 men, they just. And could have won it in the uh, end. Fantastic, yeah. No. Could have won it in the end as well. 